What is going on, everybody? It is Ebontis here. We are back for Nightfall Insight Terminus Solo 100k run. That's a mouthful, but that's my second time doing this, because about two-thirds through the first run, internet crapped out. So, we're going to do this again. Um... Uh, Quick run through. Void Singe um, seems to work for me on this one. I know it seems odd, but the Void Singe, when it was actually the strike for one of the quests, seemed to be okay, and I don't run the strike that much, so I tried it. Seems to be going all right. I know the boss is Void. 100% agree with that. But in the end, you're dealing with Cabal, and they're not going to throw anything Void at you, so, so far it seems okay. Uh, you're going to have some Minotaurs kind of sporadically throughout. Uh, but other than that, outside of the two Centurions, that's about it. Heavyweight, of course... Kind of seems to be the main way to go, unless you're messing around with Revelry modifiers. This is during the last week of the Revelry, but I'm not going to use the tonic, so this is a bit more of a universal, um, helpful run, so you guys don't have to try and depend on that. It is during Season of the Drifter, though, so Match Game and Blackout are going to be a way to get the highest points. If you go for a 160-point modifier, you can get to a 4.05 multiplier. So, those are the modifiers, just so you guys can see them real quick. And then for my build, I'm going Void, going Sentinel. Now, you could do a Doomfang Pauldrons run. Um, that is a fun one to do if you're using it to clear adds. Me, since I've got Ursa Furiosa and I have, like, the best roll ever for machine guns on here, I just find reasons to use this thing. And this will be one of them. So if I actually use the shield and as I have to stand on the plate and actually kind of hold it down by myself, this actually works fairly well. Um... It's really probably up to you. Magnetic grenade, void wall grenade. Both are probably going to be okay. If you're trying to get grenade hits on the boss, it's probably a little easier to tag it with a magnetic grenade. Void wall, on the other hand, if you're looking to just like hold down an area, also a decent option. It's really up to you. I'm going with magnetic, but I could see both work in there. Um, so yeah, I'm running hammerhead just because the main reason I want to go is Borealis. Now, you're going to have some harpies in the early section and maybe in some sporadic pieces throughout. Those are going to be arc shields, probably more quantity of those shields to deal with than anything else. You're going to have two solar shields on two mini bosses kind of in that middle section where you're running the orb to the back of the wall. It's the only two solar shields you've got. Now you can technically power through those with like a heavy machine gun, but it's up to you. If you do want to run something like Borealis for match game, that's good. Um, depending on what your super is, if you need, feel like you need to kind of mix it up, I probably would put something like arc in this spot and then void or solar up here in your super because the solar is only going to be twice. And then if you break it, go to your heavy, whatever that is to finish it up. Um, crooked fang actually would not be terrible for quantit like single shot damage, but there's a lot of stuff to kill quickly. Time is of the essence. So I'm going hammerhead. So that's the build. Go figure still holding down its throne here. 35,000 kills. Just sitting there and cruising. Um, yeah, that's about it for the intro. So I will see you all on the ground. Wish me luck. So hopefully my internet survives this attempt. All right. So as soon as you land, drive quickly. Going to be kind of an important piece because this just seems to be a slower strike for me no matter what I do. Um, especially as the boss is like time gated and, or damage gated and stuff like that. So enjoy going fast when you can and then just make sure you're not wasting too much time in any one section specifically that's kind of important so when you walk up around the corner you're gonna have a couple this is where you're gonna see your shields you're gonna want to switch to your arc sniper here make sure the harpy's void doesn't actually kill you also make sure you hit the harpy that's important now, there's going to be a lot of orbs dropping. I'm going to try not to use my super as often. I might get a few more points, but honestly, um, just kind of know the fact that this is during the revelry. So, if there are more orbs, that's why. As soon as you see the minotaurs, the two in the middle, go for them quick because they're going to be aggressive and hurt. And you don't want to get killed by those early on. You will have one more around the corner, though, so just be aware right about there. As soon as it dies, then you can switch over. See if you can get any heavy ammo to drop. Make sure you actually hit the damn harpy. Why? Why do I just miss you every time? And then push forward. Make sure you kind of reload your heavy if you're going between, especially if it's a machine gun. What's up, Mr. Cat? How you doing? Now here, you're going to have a lot of enemies to kill, so speed is kind of going to be of the essence. I'll kill these couples, see if I get any heavy ammo to drop from them. Mostly just for ammo drops, but if not, when I come around the corner, um, I'm not going to use my super yet, so I'm just going to go heavy. But mostly, if you crit these guys, you can kind of single shot a lot of them. Just take your time, make the shots count. Don't waste too much ammo. 
You're gonna have plenty of things to shoot, don't worry. The dude across the way is gonna be your Colossus that you gotta kill. And that is actually gonna be an arc shield, so that's why I am leaving this on arc. And that's still why arc's actually a good thing to leave on. You've only got two solar shields to kill. If you really have to power through them with solar, you could. Uh, I mean, with your heavy, you definitely could do that. I'm sitting behind this rock for cover right now. Just because the Colossus over there is kind of the last thing I want to mess with. I want to kill all the other adds that I can find before I really get to messing with too much else. Also using the, you know, whatever other weapon you've got. See if you can get any ammo drops to happen. Reloading, of course. A couple silences as they run up the hill. If you don't get any ammo drops to happen, it's fine. Just know you got to break him early and then just dump him the dead damage on him. Now, this is a point where Crooked Fang would actually probably be really good. Um, just be able to do that one single shot of damage, especially with something like Box Breathing, like I've got on mine. Um, would hit really hard, so... It's not a horrible thing to use, honestly. I'm kind of sitting here debating it in my mind for certain sections, but there's just so many adds to use, and I can't always trust Heavy to drop, so it's kind of why I'm still sticking with the Machine Gun. Here again, using something different, just to try and get the ammo dropping. Get away. Remember Blackout's still on. Anything that gets close is still terrifying. Did get some heavy drop in there, which is what I was going for. Coming up, we're going to have Karkin, our first viewing of him, kind of at his little doorway. And this is honestly where I would say don't mess around. Either use your super, or use machine gun, use grenades. This is where a void wall grenade would actually serve you better. But I just like having the damage that I can attach. So here, couple first. You're going to have a couple dogs. And the gladiators are your big worry, but everything here is melee. So make sure it dies quick. And if it actually gets in your circle, it slows it down. So remember that as well. As the next phase comes in, remember these are also going to be void shields. Get things exploding. Lots of orbs there. So if you don't have your super, um, use something that's masterwork there. That'll definitely help you with orbs. Lots of kills. Roughly around my 10,000 point mark uh, per minute. It's not going to hold, I know, just the strike fluctuates all over the place. But it's a relative guide that I like to kind of look down and see if I can stay near that. Especially as this boss fight is slower. I like to kind of stay ahead of it every time. Loading every single time. I haven't missed it once. It's consistent. Now this next room is going to be for the first kind of gated one. Now you're going to have some adds to kill. Um, so depending on whatever you want to use, I might switch over to Void for a minute as you're trying to pick some of these ads off. What's the bad news? So the wanted dude here is not required, but he's nice to get for some points. Uh, but he's also worth a lot of ammo, so it depends on what your ammo situation is actually like. If you feel like you're comfortable on ammo and you can go to town on him, go to town on him. But if you also feel like you're like, I don't want to waste that much ammo right now, or I'm running low, don't do it. Just skip him. Not really worth it. Oh my god, stop it. Thank you. Alright, so what you need to do once you got a decent amount of these ads down, if the wanted dude's just going to be running along, just leave him be. But you need to go to the other side of the room to get Karkin to get out of here and kind of prompt everything to get rolling. So, once you feel like you've got a safe run across, get over here. The wanted guy's eventually going to be working his way across as well. Whether you want to go super on him, however you want to kill him. Uh, but no, the mini bosses are going to be solar shields. So, if you kill anything else... See, there's heavy. If I can get some heavy drop and then I can be more aggressive... I just need to get to that point first. Now he's going to be coming over here, so watch that. I'm not so worried about solar, or my sniper ammo coming back, but at least this way I know I can kill the guy and get the points for him. Now big boy's in the middle, so at this point I'm going to switch over and give myself some solar damage for the guy in the middle. As you're going through all this, you're going to have some scions on each side. Watch out for those. They're freaking everywhere, and they want to snipe you, like, for days. So once you kind of come back, look for the snipers. Be aggressive with them. Don't mess around. They're going to hurt. I wouldn't say always punch them with blackout on, but, you know, they die always. They don't always have a ton of health, so punching them is about the only thing you probably could safely punch. I wouldn't do that to anything else and expect to live. I'm trying to shoot that guy in the toe over there. Big guy's still in the middle. I'm trying to clear out most of these ads. You can't get a good chunk of points here. Um, so it's actually worth killing a lot of these ads and not skipping too many of them. Because the points you get here are going to give you a little more flexibility in the boss room, so just remember that. Snipers will be across the way as well. Now the first mini boss will be in the middle of this section here. 
You'll see him right there. Try and focus on those crits. Now, he's going to send void damage your way. So, don't, like, just dawdle trying to kill him. Like, make sure when you pop that shield, make sure you kill him quick. And don't take basically more than one of those shots. Or you're probably going to die. Now, you got to run the orb over. Got some heavy, which is exactly what I needed. I got one more brick somewhere. So, trying to gather some ammo. Oh, man, they're being nice. Perfect. All right, so I'm good. There should be another brick somewhere in the middle. I thought I saw one. I'm trying not to actually pick it up at this point. It's right over there. Now, once you get to this section, there are two gladiators. Each time you get over here, don't let them kill you. One of my little outtakes that you guys will see at the end is because of that. So, just kill them quick, fast. Don't just mess with them. Just kill them. Don't, don't even worry about them. And you gotta do this one more time. Thanks, failsafe. I appreciate the update. More ads coming out. Lots of places. Here first. Now, as soon as I see heavy drop, I'm going to switch and go aggressive. Kill as many things as I can quickly. So this goes a little faster. Just because I know I can pick it up. And scavenger is also just going to make everything a little better. And this is where you can make up quite a bit of points. Still not using my super, but heavy drops are rolling in my favor right now, which is kind of an important piece. Gonna try and grenade those couple down there. Those guys are down. Scion across the way, of course. Uh, anytime. Thanks. Reloads. Couple of stragglers. I'm just gonna head to the middle so I got a better angle. Seriously, Scion? Where you at? I'm not going to let you pick me off on the side of the head. There you are. That dude's down. There's another one, apparently. Okay, it looked like he just threw a rock at me. And that dude died. Oh, it's not a rock, but it is pretty much what he's going to throw at me. Looks like one. Again, same thing. Does have a decent chunk of health, but just aim for those crits. Strafe a little bit. If you got to reload like I'm doing. Try and get that damage of some kind back on him and kill him quick. Now I got the orb back here. Hopefully I've got some more heavy ammo I can pick up. I think I do on the way. At least at that bottom ledge I know I can. You're going to have a Colossus that comes in, so you are going to want to try and get back pretty quick over here. Um, yep. At least get the orb over here. Get yourself some cover and then just be ready. If you want to pop your super heavy, whatever it is, just kill stuff quick. Again... Same thing, focus being the gladiators. They have to die, they will end you in one hit. Now, if you want to kill other things here, that's totally fine for points, because, you know, add them up. See if I get some points. The orb is still here. I can dunk it. Try not to let anything crazy happen. Ow, 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 ow. Couple extra adds. Oh, I don't know if that's a checkpoint or not. We're about to find out. Totally forgot that guy was there. And he's definitely void, so he will kick your butt. Please don't go that low score. Checkpoint. Cool. Door will open. And Minotaur will be coming. Again, more goblins. And with something regular. Pray for some ammo. So yeah, if you do get both orbs and then get blasted in the side of the face by a Minotaur, well, that's at least a checkpoint. So, bonus. It's about one of the few times I'll leave that in there, mostly just because that didn't lose me but about, you know, 10 seconds. If I had to redo that whole room, that's a restart. I do not have enough time for that. Because after this, when you fall down, don't fall down there. It's over here. It's always misleading. I want to go down there every time. Now we fall down, hug the left wall. Don't hit that little waterfall. Slow your roll on the way down. And we're good. Quiet Epiphany. Oh. Hey. How you doing? Any random ammo in here? Always these random, just crazy, headless goblins in here. And no heavy either. Damn. Alright. So basically just trying to get here fast enough so some of the things I kill get me enough points. So then when I do break 15 minutes or 18 minutes, I'm not losing too much. So you can see the boss has got some power. Just absolutely vaporizes things. First thing, stand right here. 
And just be keen on killing things quick. Don't let anything get near you. Look for your gladiators, look for your dogs, kill them quick. This first platform needs to go fast. Don't let anything get too close. And this one can go fairly quickly. First one's not too bad. There's a triumph for not getting off the platforms. I am going to try and do that as well. Cross my fingers it works, but it is going to take me some super work. Alright, so that one is done. He's going to drop down. Now is your time to try and put some damage into him. But don't let that thing hit you at all. Now, one nice way to fight this guy is on one of these two little ledges up here. If I can land on it. You can usually barely see over it. And sometimes be able to tag him without getting hit too bad. Now, I'm not doing a ton of damage, but I'm just trying to work some damage into him. But his thing is not going to hit... Oh, apparently... Well, it'll launch me, but it won't hurt me up there. Once you start get to get some damage out, you're going to see some more adds coming. Try and pump some damage into him, because that'll kind of lock down what you need to do. But also, if you have some adds out there, you're low on ammo, use those as a way to get some ammo back. But always keep working him down. Try to stay off the platform, so if you do do enough damage... I said do-do, I know. Um, apparently five years old. But again, heavy is kind of the key for damage on this guy. I could go super right now, but I'm using that honestly for the platforms. Now I'm going to use my super a little extra in this area, mostly because I'm trying for that triumph. And this is one of those few times I might be able to do it. Uh, normally I probably wouldn't though. So, here's one of those points if he's going to line up and look at me. I will try and get some damage on him. But make sure you're out of there as soon as he goes to throw that thing. Another good reason why I'm using the grenade that I am. If I can get it on him, that's a nice kind of direct hit on damage. Pretty good chunk. I actually like this platform over here better. So I got some heavy in the back. Even if it is back there, I know I can at least get it at some point. I'm trying to get some more drop in though, because I need a decent chunk of it. Still getting a decent amount of points here. We're at 113k. Trying to get some damage out. Alright, so now we're at the fun part. So for one, I'm going to need ammo. And two, I have to stand on a platform. So first thing's ammo, so i got to circle around this whole crazy place. Be careful getting close to anything about melees, remember. Now, generally, I'm going to take the center platform first, just because it's going to give me the best uh, viewing of killing these guys. But I'm going to want to try and clear some of these out first, so I don't have too much coming at me. As soon as you stand on that platform, you're going to have those gladiators coming. So if you put your back to this wall, some of this stuff won't get as close to you, and you can kill it. There's some more ammo, which is good. You can kill some of these guys. When you get the chances to kill a gladiator, do it. And actually a nice thing to do it with is a sniper. But also just be careful if they get come to you. Listen for that noise that it's a gladiator. Do not mess with them. Do not try and toy with them. They will kick your butt. I'm not joking. They're usually what ruin my runs in here. Alright, so I'm going to grab ammo because I got a butt side of it out here and I'm going to start spawning stuff. So this is where the time piece comes in. I'm at 15 already, 119k. I don't know if I'll hold the 100,000, but I'm at least going to put this run up either way if I finish it. Now those guys are void, so they actually explode pretty nicely. Watch for the dogs on both sides. Keep them off your platform, and don't get off of it if you're going for the triumph. It's not the easiest thing to do, I'll be honest. So that's one down. So take a second, gather your shot thoughts, see how your ammo's doing. Clear out your gladiators first. Those are, like, truly the most important pieces to die. As soon as the gladiators are down, you can probably go for another one, actually. Which is what I'm going to do. Now, this is a point where you want to actually watch for... Gladiator first off, dogs are second, because you're spawning them as you stand. Gotta go aggressive on the gladiators, big time. Make sure this thing actually ticks off. Can't get off. Only got one more platform after this. Not bad, not bad. So now you got more ads coming. Check your ammo placements. Stay in the back at this point, maybe up on this platform and see if you can pick some guys off. Now the incendiaries are void shielded, so you know, break the shield and then blow them up. Works a little better that way. As long as you're not on fire, that's cool. Might be a decent time to go super, actually. So, gonna try and see what I can for breaking these guys. Lots of explodey faces, that's good. Now, 
See how my ammo situation is? I'm going to go for the third one. Screw it. We're good at this point. Got to go at some point. Got to be relatively quick here. Get any points that I can as things spawn in. Which will be gladiators. Kill them quick. I think gladiators got to die fast. These guys will hopefully kill each other. If the three flat platforms are down, then I can whittle down the boss. Platforms just have to be down. Sweet. That is all three. Now I just got to finish this thing. He's also probably pretty pissed at me right now, so... Alright, so now I just got to finish him up. You don't have to do that anymore. It's just those three. So again, just use what you got. I might need to maintain some just for the ads. At this point, they're going to be a little more on the annoying side. Especially these uh, phalanx are going to get to be a bit frustrating. So I need to shoot something with a normal gun so I can get some ammo to drop. Some way, somewhere. Break a shield over there at least, maybe. So now just work him down, see about snipes, try not to get launched in the air, and just keep trying to work him down. So this is just the patience part, just watch your time, watch your score, but honestly at this point I think I got enough of a cushion. As long as I keep working him down reasonably, I should be okay. Now he's going to get a little more aggressive, which you got to be careful of. But also there's a point where, you know, super hasn't been used yet at all. So, no, I used it on that one guy, sorry. But now you can pretty much go around everywhere, see if you got any ammo up. But I do have orbs for my super, so I can try and whale on him that way, depending on how much ammo I've got. Which I've only got about 19 bullets. Oh, that's a big spread there. See if I can get any snipes on him here. Don't get too aggressive, because we're pretty close at this point. Oh, he's going to jump on me and try and kill me. I think it's literally just me and him right now. Come on, 130k, still good, still good. Oh, now we got ads. So that's about as far as you got for uh, killing stuff. Hopefully the chain damage out there is not bad. Keep that going on some people. Exploding things. I'm just trying to get some heavy ammo to drop. Because I am pretty much crap out of it right now. Didn't actually do too bad on killing the ads. It's not terrible. Ooh, some boots. Alright, I just need to probably go super. See if I can get these guys collected up. Kill some ads and then try and kill big boy. Get out, get out. We are so close right now. Come on. Oh, I'm out of like everything right now. So close to. Just gotta stay moving. This is just a strike of a big circular room and trying not to die. It's fun, right? Just don't get tagged by anything on the ground. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff flying at me. I think everything's on that side of the room, so I'm gonna just kind of flip to the other side. Try and see if my sniper can do what I need to do here, if I can find big guy. Oh, come on. We're so close to killing this guy. So close. That was a good shot. Oh, did he drop heavy? I swear he did. He dropped something purple, or he just exploded in purple. Where's ugly? I just have no heavy and I can't find any! Oh my gosh! I just need a shot on the boss, come on. Don't stand still too long! Still doing good, still got my points. Let me just get that long range shot on big guy. Come on! If I can get my super up that'll work, but I'm just gonna grenade the middle if I can get him grouped. That'll work! Really? Nobody died? Oh, come on. I just need a super. There. Alright, time to do super. That's pretty real. As it gets, I'm going to go find big guy and smash him in the face. 
Come here. There. Sweet. And the triumph as well. Whew. Done. So that was 22 minutes. As I said, time is, time is a tough one here. Did I get anything good? Nope. Location secured, Commander Zavala. What is... What is it trying to... Oh, inside Terminus, that's an emblem. I was like, what is it trying to give me? Well, that is it. Let's finish up uh, back in orbit. But I'm able to make out MSUND12 from the access log. Sweet. All right, see you guys in orbit. We'll wrap this thing up. But yeah, that's pretty much... That's how I do inside Terminus. I'm sure there are different ways to do it, but Void Singe... Um, you got to avoid the boss in the end, but that's basically it. And if you're patient, the Minotaurs aren't really too bad. Again, I used Borealis for a few sniping points. Two solar shields. That's all you have to deal with. Other than that, it's going to be Arc. Um, I mean, Jotun would potentially be good. You just have to how you figure out how you want to kill the Harpies. And there's only a few in the beginning, really. So if you want something like Jotun, that actually might work really well. You just might have to power through a few of the Harpies. But really, you could probably just skip them. If you got something like Jotun, Ox, anything solar, obviously, would be a decent option. Jotun, I'm just thinking of like a fusion rifle for pumping damage into the boss right there, would have actually been really helpful. So it's something I didn't have to aim as much. But that is a wrap on this Insight Terminus run. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. If you guys don't know where to find Mitzi Bontis, basically everywhere. YouTube, right here, of course. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment, share it with buddies if they're trying to knock this one out. Uh, if you want to find me on Twitch and Twitter, it's Ebontis on both of those. I streamed this one live. Uh, but if you haven't subbed to the YouTube channel, we're close to 34,000, so see if we can push that one over the top and keep going. And also, the Last Word podcast is on all, basically all your audio platforms. If you look at Ebontis, you'll probably find it. So thank you guys for everything, and I will see you soon. And there's a sni on uh, science. Nah. Nope. And also, the quicker you, if you kill them without them getting on the platform, you're going to be in better shape because they're not going to slow things down. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> Should have just used my damn machine gun.